break. And then after that, we have four more talks. And that's it for today. We are already at 4 p.m. local time, my time. Wow. Like the day has flown by. <laughs> wow. Right? Like this is what? It's a six. No, it's a, yeah, it's a six hour event. No, seven hour event. And we're through the majority of it. So we do have, all right. So we have 10 minutes of break. Uh, feel free, anyone who has a mic to talk, people who are asking questions, feel free to just answer things that you guys see. Like someone asking, how do you find streamers? And then he's like, oh, wait, I remember Vimy's talk. Talked about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How do you find fun. streamers? Yeah. I mean, oh, sorry. Are we in the break yet? Yep. We are in the break uh, until 25. Um, y'all, there's... I, I was I was given a really good recommendation for finding streamers. Yeah, second, fine. As always, like everything, everything we just heard, it was really spot on. Like, find people who make things similar to your own. See who's more successful than you. <laughs> Observe from them. <laughs> How did they do it? How did they do it? You know. Yeah, I, I really like that kind of detective work and stuff. I mean, that that's why I'm in analytics. So I think it's cool. And you can you can learn a lot even if you're not like a crunchy numbers person. It can just be cool to like go look up what have people been doing for marketing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just look at YouTube thumbnails. Like if you look at like a giant YouTuber, what their thumbnails look like. And then you look at people who are slightly smaller and you can see how they're they're trying to put their own spin on what the popular youtuber is doing like that's the vast majority of it is like cheap copy thumbnails but then there are some that actually put the effort in um i think like the the big thing to do is like you have just a couple simple colors bold text and then like a screaming dude like you just you just need like the the shocked face in the corner for your thumbnail yeah the general idea is you want like someone at a glance to understand what the video is and taking advantage of like anything that just simplifies stuff so it's easier for somebody to parse like that's where a lot of the youtube stuff comes in or the youtube thumbnail design ethos comes in handy it's really important for people to realize that like giant youtubers giant game developers the vast majority of what they do is intentional so if you look at like a disney film so much of that is made intentionally and you can compare that to you know, a lower budget film or a different animated film and see what choices were made by Disney to attempt to make it generate more revenue, generate more value for the company. Yeah, like for bigger budget things and more important, not a, not a YouTube thumbnail, but like bigger, like a, like a poster or something, they test that. They have the budget to show it to some people and go, you know, what does this look like? What do you know? What do you see? Right. And then they, then someone's like, oh, they, they hate this or they, they notice some detail and, oh, we don't, we don't want that. And then they, they change it. They're actually doing limited AB testing now for certain YouTubers. So I don't have access to it yet, but I'm very excited. Uh, when that uh, opened up. AB testing. <laughs> there's, there's this one YouTuber that keeps popping up on my feed and it's like, it, it, I see what the what the video is about. You know, it'll, it'll be like a, a discussion of some anime. But then YouTube will recommend it to me a couple days later. And the only reason I know it's a different video is because it it changed from being uploaded today to being uploaded three days ago. Like, no, this is the same video from the same guy. You're just trying to sell it to me again with a different face on it. God, terrible. Yeah, so it's been really interesting. Um, you know, I'm I'm in a business program. I'm doing analytics and all this stuff, but I am actually really not a part of many practices or um, mindsets. Like, uh, as a developer, I'm actually on that artistic passion project side most of the time, uh, very day and night here. I've been um, much happier since I just turned off all the different algorithmic feeds and just give me stuff in order. Yeah. That's why I'm on Tumblr. Like <laughs> Tumblr is not great for promoting yourself unless you know how to speak their language, but Tumblr will give you a chronological feed. It's one of the last places <laughs> remaining. Unless you want to go to fucking Gaia online, you want uh, to get yeah, Tumblr. <laughs> oh. Twitter, oh my Twitter, God. 
for the few people still using Twitter, Twitter control panel lets you turn off the for you feed and just just have the following feed. But but yeah. following is still not chronological. Yeah. Uh it's pretty close, I think. Isn't it? It's pretty close, but not exhaustive. Yeah. Like you yeah, move yeah, around yeah. things like like quotes and stuff, but I don't I don't think they act, I, I don't think I've seen it like way out of order. I know there was a time where for you was chronological, but that time has has since come and gone. Sailed. Oh yeah, yeah. This is this is following, not not for you. For you, I just ignore. Yeah. Yeah, it's wild learning how algorithms work and stuff, and being like, I know all the stuff I hate now. <laughs> uh, it could be a he who fights monster situation. Who knows? Yeah. yeah, as a computer science PhD, this really has very little to do with actual algorithms. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you know, something I really, someone asked about streamers earlier, uh, next year, if I can get it to work in Rempi, um, I would love to make a talk just on how to make your visual novel more streamable. That was something that because I'm kind of outside of this sphere, I didn't think about doing at all until I started doing market research. Um, and that led me to develop some interest, I hope, interesting ideas for my game. So th that's an example of like how market research, it doesn't have to be, like, it can just give you ideas. That would be an amazing talk. Yeah. I would love to see something like that. Absolutely. Well, first I have to get the tech finished working in RemPy. <laughs> hey, <laughs> all right. I'll give you some free yeah. advice. I'll give you some free advice. Uh, streamers like shorter games. They like ones that they can play through start to finish in one session. So you want to aim mm. one to two hours play time. Uh, Parasite and Love was like less than an hour and Manly Badass Hero ate it up. And like streamers really enjoy those those low commitment kind of things where oh i'll take a chance on this weird new thing for mm -hmm. one night and see how it goes so like, yep yep it, you know it's it's like a date like hey you know what i'm gonna go grab a coffee with this dude we'll see if we click you know and and if it works out then maybe these people make another visual novel down the line and you already know they're cool you can invest and, and all that stuff you yeah, know, all... I, I, I don't know actually. I actually don't know. <laughs> uh, all, all interesting things. I have been working on some technical sides, uh, like say sending information to like Twitch chatbots for RemPy. Uh, that's cool, but it involves asynchronous programming, which has been difficult <laughs> to get yeah. to work. Wait, wait, Tom, wait, wait. you can't pickle. You can't pickle the async functions. I understand, but dang. <laughs> what, 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 what do you need to? What do you need to send to Twitch chat? Like. Uh, it's more receiving from Twitch chat. Like the specific system I've been working on is um, it's been using Twitch Pi. There's actually a few libraries you can work with, but uh, it you it sends information about numbered choices and choice text to a Twitch chat bot, and then it receives votes from the chat, and then it uses those votes to like make the choice. So your chat can vote on choices. Okay. Um, yeah. The recommendation for that is is always to just you know, make a second program to do that and then just either connect to it over, over the network or, or, you know, something like that rather than trying... The RenPy is a game engine, not a, a generic Python programming environment. Yep. So. That is something I have been <laughs> uh, having an interesting time with. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, break seems to be out of time. Uh, I'm curious as to whether any of you all also face this problem. Um, I find streamers pick up my game like expecting one thing and walk out like uh, there's either two possibilities right like living inside people who like it people start playing and they're like either oh it says fully voice acted but i have to read and i'm like what, 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 what are you expecting to do like playing a visual novel um and there's another another part that is like people who are playing but i feel like they're not engaging they're only like oh my god it looks so good and they're only like showing people how good it looks but they're not actually like interacting with it do you do you ever come across something like that where it's like do you play visual novels do you do you, do you engage with visual novels ever you know like that's that's the feeling i walk out with um yeah that makes sense but what's yeah <laughs> you, you see that all a lot uh it's guys... like a oh yeah sorry yeah. i was gonna say um can you guys uh, hear my microphone i'm just checking oh, before yeah. i get started Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And you can see my screen going left and right. Yep. 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 Okay. Yep. So let me know when I'm ready to start because I have a lot of stuff to get through. <laughs> um, and I just want to right. make sure I get it all done. So, all right. Well, we are at 25. So I let's go. It's all okay. yours. 
Cool. Um...